All right, you guys, I got my new packaging. Let's open it up and see what we got. And here we are, the Smash It Sports Little Gorilla. Let's roll around. Some nice pockets. Two bats on this side. This is a bigger, cooler pouch, nice. Kind of like a utility pouch right here they said this is there's two cooler pouches or whatever they call them hydration pouches whatever i'm guessing this is the other one and i would be correct yeah and then no velcro i don't know i didn't look in here i just zipped that up just kind of one longer pouch in here it's felt lined on the inside so it'd be nice for some sunglasses or something but um, I think this is big enough to put my first aid kit in here, so that's probably where that'll go. Alright you guys, so we are now nine months later. We're in January of 2023, and we're going to finish the review nine months later on this bag. So go ahead, come on in a little bit. I'm going to show you guys, we're going to talk about a couple different things here on what we like and what we don't like. So first off, one thing that we like is that this bat holds four bats, okay? So check that bad boy out. Four bats on this side. I'm sorry, two bats on this side, two bats on this side. <clears throat> very awesome. The reason why, once again, going back into why I bought this bag is because I have a very small vehicle. We have a Jeep Renegade and a small uh, compact car. I can't carry a full-size roller, so that's why we bought the Little Gorilla. So that way we have more capability instead of keeping the backpack on. We have something a little bit bigger uh, to store everything. So now let's go into the top pocket real quick. So inside of this top pocket, how I like to carry it is I keep my bag in here. This is a 13 inch glove, okay you guys? 13 inch. And usually I'll keep two pairs of batting gloves in here. So what we do is just put them in right here. And it fits just like that, you guys. A 13 inch glove. Um, I ha I can fit two gloves in here. I don't have my other one with me right now. That one's a 1275. I can fit them in here, but it, it's pretty snug, you guys. You gotta get them in, get it in pretty tight. So what I like to do is if I'm carrying two gloves, I'll put the other one in the bottom pocket below. So now, let's close this up. And we're gonna talk about this little front pocket down here, you guys. So, this front pocket right here, I think it's bad. What I like to carry in this front pocket, it's pretty small. It's probably only about four and a half, four and a half inches. And then probably about, about eight inches wide, or yeah, about eight inches inch wide. So what I keep in here is a first aid kit, you guys. I always keep a first aid kit with you. Usually I have a pair of scissors in here and everything. Maybe I'll go down like my little boo-boo kit for softball later on, but that's what I like keeping here. It fits perfectly in there. I don't know which one it is, you guys, but as you can see, like I said, it's pretty small and if you find anything else to put in there you can but that's what i like having now this big pocket right here opens up all the way down and i really don't honestly keep anything in here too big um like if i had to carry the um the book would be perfect to put in here you guys i can fit uh the game book in there to write stuff the score book in here but honestly i don't really put too much stuff in here just because it's too bulky um Okay, let's say for an example, let's say if I put my fanny pack in here, alright? Rock the fanny pack, you guys, love it. This is an essential right here. So if I put this in here, you can see how much more this bulges out. It's not too bad, but if you're putting anything much bigger in there, you're going to have quite a bit of bulge inside of your bag. But this is good for kind of like a catch-all, if you want to put other stuff in there. So close that up. So now we're going, gonna come back over to the side here. So we have a monster. Just kidding, this is a monster. Um, I just like to, it's already drank, there's nothing in here, you guys. Obviously you can hold whatever can you want. Alcohol, non-alcoholic beverage. On the side here, this is a pretty big pocket. I really, really like the side pocket. This is a cooler pocket. This is lined. So you can fit a Gatorade in there. And it will fully close up if you guys put like the full-size Gatorade bottle in there, like the little short chubby ones, but like the long skinny ones will fit in there. So what I keep in there is my Yeti tumbler, okay? This is the one I always have water in, and this works perfectly, you guys. 
fits right in there perfectly. You'd hit that there mid-game, go ahead, open up that bad boy, get some hydration, all right? <clears throat> so now on the other side, this pocket right here is more so like a utility pocket. So what I keep in here is like, same thing as this big pocket. This pocket right here for me is more of that catch-all utility pocket. So I just have my sunglass case, my sunglass cleaner, and I have some Allen wrenches in here. So like it always changes. Like when I have my GoPro and stuff like it, I'll put my GoPro in here, I'll put the batteries and stuff like that inside of this pocket. So that way I have a quick access to it to hang it up on the fence and stuff like that. Or if I need to put my wallet or stuff like that, this is usually what it goes into. Otherwise I'll put my wallet and stuff into this top pocket if I'm not rocking my fanny pack. So, like I said, this is a great pocket for a catch-all. Like I said, fits an open case, perfect, with the old glass cleaner. Now, on this bottom pocket, this is kind of a goofy pocket, okay? So, it's the same exact size pocket as this one over here, this, um, um, like, cooler pocket. It has that lining inside of it. But it's really goofy to get in access to it, okay? If you want to carry like your water on this side, cool, then you can put a Gatorade or another water on this side, it works fine. Like I said, it's really goofy if you're trying to get into it. But obviously, like if you're just storing an extra one, it doesn't really matter so much. So what I do is I actually put my control balls in there. So these are the smaller um, 74. I think they have like an 86 or something like that is the bigger version of these ones. But I keep the smaller ones. I always keep three in here. I only put one in here right now, but usually I always keep three in here. So that way, like if you're in an area like this, or you're in a, uh, a facility where you can't hit or you have fields that are like four fields or two fields that are really close together or you only have a parking lot to hit in then you always have a way to take some bp you guys uh, we'll do a video later on down the road on control balls and what like importance they are but these are awesome to have in the bag you guys because they're small they don't take up much room and they help you get bp if you can't go to a field or you need something quick to get warmed up you guys control balls are definitely way to go and they're very durable i've never seen them break let me know down below if you guys use control balls, all right? So now, before we go into the rest of the video, let's talk about a con on this bag. So if you guys can see, this looks like me when I'm slunched over when the jelly roll is getting crunched up, you guys, because you guys just, this reminds me like that, um, of Patrick when he's like sitting down. Oh, what next? Hi, SpongeBob. And it's like, his little, anyways, we're getting off track here. So one of the things that I don't like about this bag, you guys, is it just does like, I don't know what you would call this. What would you call this? It's like a... Uh, the we yeah, weight distribution is falling over on itself. It just does not look good, you guys. It's yeah. not attractive at all. This is one of the biggest cons, if not the biggest con that I don't like about this bag is that it does this, whatever this is. Obviously, the one thing that will keep this is my buddy <clears throat> had... Um, a custom PVC pipe frame inside of it, but it was like 150 bucks for him to make it and they can go up from there. So if you wanna pay the hundred and some dollars or make one yourself, that's one of the, probably the only ways that I can think of that you're gonna be able to keep this bag from doing this, okay? So now, let's go into, let's go into the main pocket here. So once again, this is where that con comes in you guys because this is really difficult sometimes. That was really easy, but most of the time, like, I have a hell of a time trying to open this bag up. So what I have in here is my camera bag. Oh, there goes a the ball. So I have my camera bag in here. Uh, Warm-up ball or whatever. You guys need an extra ball. I always try to keep one or two balls. So what I like to try to do is keep one ball in here that's like your beat-up ball. It's good for throwing around and everything before the game. And always keep whatever you play, U-Triple-S-A or A-S-A-U-S-A, keep a brand new ball in your bag because you never know when your team needs an extra ball, you guys, all right? If you're supplying balls, because we're not all conference players. A lot of us, we got to supply our own balls, you guys, all right? So now, this is what else I keep in here. I got a bunch of different batting gloves. I like to switch my batting gloves around. I like my batting gloves to match my unis, all right? I like to try to come color correct. And I have my face mask. Back in uh, Latin, this past August of 2022, um, I broke my nose twice in one weekend at Native American World. And I started wearing a face mask like when the fields aren't too great because it's just kind of stuck with me. And this is my bread and butter, you guys. This is why you guys watch us, is this right here. Okay, so I can't mess this up anymore. Anyway. So now, the last thing that I have in the bag, you guys, I'm sorry, last two things I got in the bag <coughs> is my cleats, my turfs, 
and then an angle brace, okay? Oh, I lied, I got my whole side pocket. My bad, I'm tripping. So anyways, this is what I keep in the bottom part of my bag. So obviously, you can fit two pairs of boots in here, or a pair of shoes, or whatever it curves. All you gotta do is flip them upside down like this. And I have fit two pairs of shoes in here, you guys, so uh, you can do that. Otherwise, if you want, you can leave this guy down here. You can put a face mask in here. You can put all kinds of different gloves. You can put another glove down there. Um, it's pretty endless what you guys can do with your pocket, what's your configuration, whatever you guys want down here. You guys can put all kinds of stuff. I put like extra clothes in here. Um, yeah. So anyway, so let's move on to the side pocket here. So in this pocket right here, I keep some uh, pre-wrap and then athletic tape, you guys. So just in case somebody gets a sprained wrist um, or if you, you hurt your wrist or whatever you guys need or you just need to tape up, somebody else needs tape. I always try to keep, I don't really tape up my wrist that much, but you know, just for the boys, just in case they need some help. I have some extra back, back grip in here. And on the bottom pocket here, I always keep an extra belt, you guys. Always try to keep an extra belt for either yourself or for your buddies. You never know when somebody's drawers are falling over. You wanna be able to play the game without your pants falling down, okay? And then for me, this is essential, you guys. It's an extra hair tie because you never know when this bad boy's gonna break. All right, the girls know, right? Don't, we always need an extra hair tie, right? If you have yes, long hair? absolutely. See, right there. Always keep it, if you have long hair, always keep an extra hair tie. We got Jacob Strange here, um, Wolfpack Battery. Go ahead, and show yourself, Jacob. Oh, gosh. Some long hair, we could like, give him a little <laughs> ponytail or something like that. I had longer hair, cut it about a couple weeks ago, but <laughs> I am growing it back out. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could make it work. Not to my boy Jacob, he's uh, helping me with this review real quick, you guys. Really you guys, sorry about that. We had a little bit of trouble. I forgot to hook up the cord to the mic. So now we should have better better audio. I'll try to fix that um, when I'm doing the video. But anyways, let's move on, you guys. So that's everything we have in the pocket right here in the panel of the, um, the bag. Now, let's go on to a couple more cons, okay? So, one of the pros actually I'm gonna talk about is I used this bag when we went to Vegas and you guys can see the vlog uh, that we just did when we went out to Native American World. What I did was I bought packing cubes, you guys, and I put two packing cubes in here and I literally took my full weekend of clothes in this bag. I was telling Jacob about that earlier that this can double when you guys travel. If you do it right, you can take your full weekend of clothes from your softball clothes, uh, your game clothes, to like your regular apparel, wherever you're gonna wait. You can pair or wear, take your cleats, an extra pair of shoes, and the ones you're wearing. So you can take three pairs of shoes, take a backpack, you guys, you're literally set for the whole weekend. This can be your check-in bag, and then you'll have your carry-on backpack, you guys. So you'll be straight if you guys do it right, and that's what I did. And it worked perfectly. I'm sorry I don't have any pictures or anything like that. Home. So now, let's go into one of the cons of traveling with your bag, with this backpack, okay? So I'm gonna close this up real quick. And this is where that little part that I was telling you guys about, why like when it scrunches up like this, it's really difficult sometimes to zip it back up, okay? So now, now this is one of the cons of this bag and traveling with it. When I got off the plane, went down to the, uh, when you get your, wherever you get your bags at, I looked at my bag and I thought it looked a little funny. And the reason why it looked funny was because the bag ripped on the bottom. So what must have happened was sometime in between when they're moving bags around or loading everything up, one of the, another bag, or it might have landed like, they might have been tossed, I don't know how it happened you guys, but the bat must have obviously hit from the top, got hit from the top and went straight to straight the bottom and ripped it down here. And both sides are ripped. So this side is completely done. I haven't contacted um, Anarchy, or I'm sorry, I haven't contacted Smash It Sports yet. I'll give you guys an update to see if they're, this is covered under the warranty or not. I really hope it does because I really did enjoy the bag, but that this is pretty lame. I did not expect that to happen. And I'm sure that that could possibly happen if you guys aren't careful when loading this in and out of your vehicle, um, especially when traveling. So be careful that you guys, I hope that doesn't happen to you guys. Now, the second con of this bag. We're gonna take a walk right behind us here and I'll show you guys what the second con is. All right, you guys, so for the second con of this bag, we're gonna flip this bad boy around. So, these right here do not come with the bag. One of my buddies gave me these because he had extra um, hooks. 
this bag does not come with a set of bag hooks, which is really, really dumb. I don't understand that because one, you guys see how this crunches, right? I don't know how many times I've looked back and this happens to my bag, right? I'll put it back and I'll turn around and it does it again because there's no hooks on it. So this just has a carabiner on it and then I don't know where he got the extra hooks from. I think it came with his bags, but that doesn't, that's irrelevant. I have, I have bags on here. So <clears throat> you want to have something that's going to be able to hook up to the net here. Just like that. I'm not going to do the full side because I won't reach. But let's see. I'll shut over here. So if I do it over here, so obviously now this is our simulated fence on a bag or on a field. Um, this is what you're going to have to do right here. But as long as you're willing to get some extra hooks, you guys, to your, um, to your bag, then it's going to work fine. And then when I stole these away, they just go right in here. And they don't even pop out, you guys. It actually works pretty perfect. It looks like it's set for it. The only con, I guess, of this is I use these to hook up to the batch strap, just like that. So you're using your batch strap. But I, myself, don't ever use these. The only time that I've ever used these straps for my bat is when, we, when I flew to Vegas. <clears throat> when I flew with this, that's the only time I strapped these in. Other than that, Literally, the only, this is the only reason I use these. Because these pockets are so big, like these don't fly out ever. I've never, I've never had an issue with these coming out. So let's go back over here, and we're gonna put everything back in and do a final overview, all right? Shout out to Tom on the back. Yeah. All right, you guys, so I guess you could say a final overview of this bad bag. It's $139.99 MSRP before shipping and handling. It is pretty pi uh, pricey co considering that a normal bad bag, you're going to be spending between $45 bucks and probably $75 for a pretty good size bad bag for, or even a smaller size like travel size bad bag depending on what you want. This bag I see fits a very specific niche. Um, you're going to be spending $200 plus on a full size roller, which is gonna be about this big, okay? And pretty wide. It's considerably bigger than this bag. This is the size of like almost most of your your pretty large, large to medium sized bad bags. The reason why I got this is because of the compact size. I don't have a big vehicle. I don't have a lot of room for one of those big rollers and this fits me and my lifestyle perfectly for what I need it for. When I load up all my camera gear, when I carry chairs, uh, when I carry my uh, my tripods, everything like that, this is a very, very good system to take with you. Obviously, you can take a ton of drinks with you, um, fill it up to however you want. I honestly do think it's worth the price of the $139.99. I would pay for this again, even though the one side ripped, I would buy another one. That's unfortunate, but honestly, you guys, pros definitely outweigh the cons, you guys, on this bad bag. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you guys to definitely pick this up if it matches your criteria. If you guys want something with the easy capability of just wheeling around instead of carrying on your backpack and having all, all that weight on your shoulders all day, then I'm gonna recommend this, you guys, definitely. Other than that, you guys, take care of yourselves, take care of that swing, and we'll see you next time.